All right, in this training video, we're gonna be going over the Search Term Inspector tool and how to utilize it to create new campaigns. Uh, it's really efficient and it's basically due to some of these additional columns that were determined during the initialization sequence that it's basically gonna quickly be able to tell you uh, converting terms that are not already targeted in broad, phrase, exact, or ASIN uh, targeting ads. So all you need to do is run up to the Apex PPC menu, search term inspector. Then you got to decide if you want to start with your search terms or the ASINs. We'll do uh, we'll do the search terms not already in exact campaigns. All right, and without going into too much explanation, I'm just going to show you my kind of operating procedure that I like to follow. Essentially, I go to this total orders column, and this total orders is a little different than the main orders. This main orders is just essentially each. Uh, search term for each you know campaign ad group and what it what it actually converted but this uh, column in is actually a cumulative total of uh, if you have a SKU that um, has a campaign ad group of the same match type and that search term is in that uh, say like broad campaign you have multiple broad campaigns for the same SKU that are triggering the same search term it's going to actually total those orders because uh, that's kind of more what you want you want to know okay i've got a broad campaign or, or multiple broad campaigns going for this one SKU, and the same search term is converted you know maybe one in one of them and two in the other so that's three total orders for that match type uh, but i like to take this total orders column deselect one and two so i'm just seeing three or more order rows you can see this demo data is throwing some errors but you don't need to worry about that uh, the next filter i'll do i'll deselect uh, multiple SKU campaigns and then this not in apex filter this is meaning that i've got some uh you know some campaign ad groups that are showing up in my search term report that aren't in my bulk ops file right now and there's actually a way in the labs tab to import all of your uh, past campaign ad groups so it you won't have that but I'll have another video that shows how to do that for now just know that you can deselect both of those and that's just going to show uh, the ones that are currently active in your bulk ops file all right and then the next step is basically to go over to the uh, flex platform which is right here and we're going to go to the bulk campaign builder and this is actually where we're going to be able to build out our campaign so you can see you can select different match types um, and then assign different names and whatnot all right so my process for doing this is i'm actually going to copy the SKU and the search term and these are the new search terms that have converted well over to flex and i'm going to make a new tab just by clicking this plus and i'm just going to paste these guys in as values and then i'm going to actually hit Control shift alt one just to dedupe that from the beginning and you can see there's really only three entries right now okay so these are exact so let me just let me just do this first so there's the exact matches let me go back and i'm going to do uh, and i'm going to go back to search term inspector now i'm going to do for phrase i'm going to do the exact same thing all right and then i'm going to deselect one and two hit okay and make sure i don't have any that are multiple skew not an apex all right and then go to the top you can see i got more for here all right and then essentially copy those go back over here and then these are going to be phrase Control shift alt one all right and then i'll just label those for now all right and then once you do that you need to decide how many targets you want to have in each campaign and i'm going to actually just make new campaigns for this again if you'd want to put them in existing you'd have to know the campaign and ad group names that you want to assign each one of these uh, but i find it easier just to create new campaigns each time and just manage the bids through apex so uh, what you'll do is for all the exact campaigns, I actually do single keyword campaigns. So I just put the number one uh, next to each one of those. And you'll see why here in a second. And then for my phrase, I'll do a max of like either three to five. So I'll say a max of five for each SKU. So all I'm going to do here is go down to where the SKUs change and make sure, you know, you've got, um, I'll say a max of five. So there's one, there's one. There's one, there's three in that one, so it'd be four in that one, I'm good. Two in that one, and then one in that one. Same thing with broad, so I'll just do one, one, one. Next step you're gonna wanna do is transpose these. So you'll hit Control C, and then just come up here, paste special, transposed, and this just gets it in a format that uh, 
the flex system you'll be able to easily copy and paste everything over so these just know that these are your exacts I like to just write exact and then for my phrase I'll do the same thing copy the ones and I'll skip kind of a column like that and do transposed and then actually if you center it too it helps a lot phrase all right and then once you have that you can actually just delete that data and here is where you actually need to if you're going to have multiple targets in each new campaign each column basically is going to become a new campaign so uh, what you'll do is like for these ones with the same skew you'll just uh, you can actually cut those and if you do a transpose again it'll put them like that then you just delete the columns there after you assign them that one will be single single uh, this one we've got a couple so control X paste special transposed so I'm gonna finish this out for this entire sheet and then I'll be right back with everything formatted all right, and then once you are done with formatting all of those columns, which that took me, I don't know, five minutes or so, I had quite a few ASINs, uh, but you'll have this format here where you've got that number that we identified for each campaign, and then we said for exacts, we're gonna do single keyword exact campaigns, and then for phrase broad and um, ASIN targeting, we're gonna do up to five or you know more just based on our discretion. So I've um, formatted all these accordingly. You can see as I scroll over to the right, there's my broad, and we've got all our ASINs there with the skew being here kind of in, in row three, so I'll bold that. Uh, again, if you wanna put these in existing campaign ad groups, you need to insert two rows here and just put in the campaign name and the ad group of the ones that you wanna add them to. But uh, say if these are all new campaigns, it's even faster. So to start out with, I'm gonna make essentially three exacts. I'm gonna make a nine phrase and nine broad. So I'm gonna make those first and then I'll come back. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the bulk campaign builder sheet and just go to add new campaigns. And I said I need three exacts. So I'm just gonna hit that, I'm gonna hit three. And then I said I need nine broad in phrase. So I'm gonna go back up and do nine phrase in nine uh, broad all right and then let's go back and see how many ASIN targeting campaigns we need so we can just like that it looks like 17 so we're gonna go back and add 17 of these guys hit okay now because we took the time to format it like this it's gonna be super fast and we copy over the uh, actually, what we can do to make this even faster, we can delete these spaces here. All right. And you're just going to hit Control Shift and then the right arrow key. It's going to grab all your SKUs. And we go back over. And in this field here, just right click the values, hit Paste. And then if you scroll over, you'll notice that it stops there in the last one we created, which is good. Uh, you'll start to see some color codes and stuff pop up. Don't worry about that right now. Uh, but the last step is we need to grab all of our targets. And you want to just make sure you don't have more than 50 in one of these. 25 is the most we've got, so we're good. So we're just going to copy that and grab all of that data there, copy it, and go back over here. And we're just going to paste the values right there. And you'll notice if we scroll over and just double check it where it stops. And you can see where the ASINs this, this column here, or the row 75 there, says ASINs, and then it'll switch over to broad keywords, phrase, exact. So you do, do wanna make sure your little worksheet matches up with the order that you added the campaigns by. But uh, from here, then what I like to do is, I like to keep like a log sheet of the different days that I add campaigns and kind of schedule it out, but I'll just create a new sheet here in the Flex system. And I'll put the date, so today is the 5th, and I'll put the group number. So I call like a group, just a, a campaign, a new campaign creation sit down where you actually make a new campaign. So I'll say this is group one if it's my first one, and I'll just name it like G1, and then I'll put a description 
of what I did. So I created however many, you know, X campaigns, yada, yada, yada. So put in a description there just so you can remember. And I'll name this, uh, rename, I'll say my group, group log or something like that, whatever you want to call it. But that G1 then becomes the suffix. So that's what this is here. And I just change that each time I do a new kind of campaign creation. And then I can, in my bulk sheet uh, Apex system, I can easily uh, look for that G1 in the campaign name if I ever want to assign all those to a portfolio, for example, or just search for them and, and find them quickly. But uh, from there, all you got to do is walk down through these steps. This step two is optional. It just overwrites your formulas in some of the rows. But what I like to do in single keyword campaigns is I actually like to make the ad group the actual keyword. So you'll come up here and paste that, paste the values uh, there. Uh, actually, so I don't have right now the... Um, I don't have this onboarded correctly. I should have all my data in here uh, for the fee preview and all listing reports. Actually, I'm gonna back my way out. I think I can still see. Uh, yeah, there we go. So now if I come over to here, I can actually grab, there'll be another video for how to onboard the Flex platform, but I'm just gonna quickly get my ad group defaults in there. And Now, if I go back, I should have, yeah, see it, <clears throat> it uh, defaults as the ASIN. But when I click this lock campaign, it's going to actually override those formulas to values. And then I like to take, again, my search term and actually put those in for just single keyword exacts. That's the only time I do that. And then for these other ones, I'll leave them as the ASIN if they're multi, uh, you know, multi target ad groups. And then lastly, you want to grab this uh, unique campaign name that has the suffix in it. So I just hit Control Shift and then the right key, and that's going to grab those names. And then you'll put that overriding the campaign name just to make sure that they're all unique. And then you'll see everything says ready to add, everything's good to go. Uh, and then you're pretty much ready to actually create all these campaigns in one fail swoop. You'll see what you've built out here uh, matches what we had initially planned. Uh, the other, actually, the last thing I'll mention is say we've, uh, if we go back to our search term inspector tool and say, um, let's see, what's a good example? Not already in exact. So <clears throat> let's get back to this. And then we deselected these. And then. You selected those. All right, so right now we're creating three campaigns with these three terms, but you can see, you know, this demo data is again is all messed up, but it's got multiple uh, campaigns that potentially these could be, you know, different campaign. Yeah, there is a different campaign. So 97, 98, you know, these rest show 98s, which that doesn't make sense, but. Um, you may ha you may want to if it's a research campaign like these are all these are all considered auto in the sake of this example but if you wanted to negate these in the auto campaigns and migrate it to an exact campaign all you would do as an added step is grab the um, the search term campaign name and ad group name like we did before with the stop optimizer and you could put those in the bulk negate tool right here. And just you can clear that out just by clicking clear negates and you paste this in and assign the negate type. So if you're migrating it to an exact campaign and you want to do like a negative exact in the auto, you can do that. Uh, but you get the idea. That's how you would migrate terms in bulk. And then also uh, if we hop back here, we're going to create all these campaigns in bulk just by going up here. And we've already you know assigned the campaign names with the suffix how we want. Now we just click add campaigns to bulk file. It's actually going to build out one big bulk file. And you'll see now this has all of our new campaigns that we're creating in a format that we can upload uh, to the bulk ops manager. The other thing I'll mention is you, you do have the ability to like modify your campaign budgets here quickly. You could do that at this step as well if you wanted to. I didn't mention that, but you can do that here and adjust your default ad group bid level but or, or bid amount. But I find it a little more straightforward to just do it here in the campaign upload file. 
Uh, so you could see you do have to you do have to if you want to adjust like your bids from the get go you have to change your record type and just select your keywords and product targets and then it would just show you the bids for there and you can modify them accordingly or you can get them into uh, once we upload them they're going to be in Apex the next time we download our bulk file and then we can just modify them from there that's typically how I do it uh, at any rate in order to get these actually to the advertising console just come back up and you're going to we just did the step three you're going to do the build campaign upload file and that again sends it to your Google Drive upload folder so I'll go ahead and hit that and just show you what it does hit yes all right new file added now we can go back to the campaign manager choose file and same way as before go to uploads and you may have to give it a second just keep hitting refresh so there's our bulk campaigns double click that and upload it again you'll have to click this button again to upload it but once you're done there uh, you'll see the finish successfully after it's done uploaded and then the next time you go through the apex bid optimization sequence you're going to pull those in to apex and then you can what i like to actually do is use the bid override table and i'll put them in a portfolio at least for um, for the first few weeks and just make sure I've, i'm getting enough impressions and kind of bid higher to try to get conversions as early as possible that's that's my technique but there's obviously different ways you can do it so yeah, that is a pretty, I know, in-depth video and maybe confusing to some, but hopefully you can follow these steps and rewatch them if you need to. But uh, essentially all we did, we used the search term inspector tool to identify some high converting search terms that we didn't already have in our uh, campaigns that we're bidding on. And we used the Flex Bulk Campaign Builder to quickly create those and add them to new campaigns so then we can start bidding on them in the future. So hopefully that was valuable for you guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.